All peoples on earth have a vision and a dream of peace. The Torah says that peace is the greatest objective of our of our life here, of our mission that that God has sent us here to to achieve and to bring love and understanding and peace between all peoples. But in order to achieve peace, we have to understand what peace really means and how how we can. Uh, approach it and how we can uh, realize and fulfill it. The Torah says that peace is the friend, the best friend of truth. In order for peace to be real and to be attainable and achievable, it must go together with truth. The, the verse says that truth and peace join together in love. They're like a pair like a, a marriage between truth and peace. Now truth is the, the truth, the God-given truth of the Torah. Truth is that God has given the land of Israel to the people of Israel in order that we are able to fulfill our potential and realize our potential to be a light for the nations. That is the truth of the Torah. In Hebrew, the word peace itself comes from a Hebrew Semitic root. We all have heard, of course, of the word Shalom, which is peace in Hebrew. In all Semitic languages, it's the same. Salam is peace in Arabic. And it all comes from a root which means completeness, which completeness itself is a property, an aspect of truth. Truth is something which is whole and complete. And as soon as one starts cutting, we use a pun on words in English, cutting things into pieces, and that is the obviously the diametric opposite of true of achieving true peace. The Torah is true. God has given us the Torah, and God has given the Torah to all peoples on earth to study the Word of God and to realize, understand the truth, and to try to devote ourselves to the fill the Word of God, the truth of the Torah. The two other major religions on earth besides Judaism were born, as we all know historically, were born out of Judaism. Very often Judaism is referred to as the mother religion, and the two other religions that are monotheistic, believe in one God, are daughter religions. But, as we know from history, the daughters were not always at peace with the mother, and very often the daughters actually rebelled against the mother. And in order to now to rectify history and to bring our world to peace, which we believe is attainable, is a real, a real, realistic objective, the objective of our lives. The daughters must recognize who the mother really is, where the truth is coming from, where the beauty of ethics is coming from for all peoples on earth. And give honor, show honor to the mother. In the Ten Commandments we know that the fifth commandment is honor your father and your mother. To honor our Father is to honor our Father in Heaven, which is God, the Creator, the Almighty. To honor our Mother is to, for all peoples on earth, to recognize the Mother and to give respect and to realize that the ultimate truth is coming from the Mother, the Mother religion, which is Judaism.